Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. I got a terrific gun today to show you that's on loan to me. This is a Winchester Model 74. I don't get to see them very often. They are really, really cool, and they're actually a little piece of history. In fact, they have quite a bit of history to them that a lot of people that own them don't really realize. For one thing, uh, just to tell you a little bit about the gun, they are a different type of design because these kinds of guns were very popular in the 30s and 40s and on into the 50s. When you saw 22s that had heavier stocks, they were just heavier guns in general. The barrels were a lot longer. That was back before optics and scopes and anything like that was popular. People were shooting with iron sights. And partially because the longer barrel allowed a longer sight radius, the guns were a little bit more accurate. And I think at the time the belief was the longer the barrel, the more accurate the gun. I'm not so sure that's always the case. But nevertheless, that was the, the wisdom at the time. And so if you looked at these, you would find that when people purchased them, if you had two or three models of rifles against the wall and the ones, there were some with long barrels and some with short, that people would reach for the long barrel ones all the time because they just felt that they would be more accurate. So even in the case of 22s like this, you find that these older guns, by and large, they've got long barrels like this one does. Now there's some other design elements that really make this gun cool as far as I'm concerned. I really like the kind of neat safety which is on top of the action rather than down where we would normally find a safety on the tang or maybe down by the trigger guard or something like that. So it's an unusual place to put a safety and it's really cool as a result. You know, eclectic things like that can be neat where firearms are concerned. There's also some other interesting things associated with the history of this gun. Now this particular one was made in 1947, but these guns were made for a while and there were several different models of them and sizes of them and so on, but they are a heavy gun. The barrel is heavy. They are super accurate and they're a joy to shoot in just about every respect. A great number of these guns were shipped off to the British during World War II as part of the Lend-Lease program. We were trying to help the British be properly armed to fight the Nazis. And these guns were then used for that purpose, or at least they were planned to be used for that purpose. They were fitted with a suppressor and with a Parker Hale telescoping sight and issued to auxiliary units with the thought that if the Nazis were successful in invading Britain or one of the uh, parts of the British Empire, that these could be used by resistance forces as sniper tools to uh, knock down a Nazi here and there, or knock down a, you know, a, an officer, or for that matter, just be used as a, a light gun to feed these resistance troops if they happened to be in an area where food was scarce. As far as I know, they were never put to any of those uses, but it is interesting that the Winchester Model 74 was actually a military arm at one point. You just don't think about 22s filling that bill. Another fascinating thing about them that I learned in just doing some research about them is that, you know, I think of these guns as 1940s, 1930s, maybe early 1950s semi-automatic 22s. They're designed very differently than today's guns, and they're a lot of fun to shoot because they're a piece of history you got in your hand. But what I didn't realize was that the design of these guns came from 1901. As you can see from this schematic and this little patent application, I believe is what we found, these guns were originally designed by a couple of fellows named T.G. Bennett and T.C. Johnson back in 1901. These things have a very storied and colorful story, a colorful history to them that, uh, that makes them really a joy to shoot. In any case, speaking of shooting them, I did take it up to the Rainbow Range and give it a little try on the shooting gallery. I've had the joy of shooting this rifle and, well, rifles like it many, many times, and uh, this one is on loan to me, but they are just inherently accurate, and they are really extraordinarily well-made 22 long rifle, semi-automatic rifles. I like them because I like the tube feed, I like the unusual quirky safety on the top, but mostly I just like accurate, accurate rifles. I like rifles that are 
inherently accurate, and these fall into that category. And uh, just to show you what I mean, we've got a bunch of targets up there, little bitty uh, steel targets. Let's see how many we can knock down without missing. Here we go. Okay, well, there's one. And the ball at the end. Wow. As I said, really accurate little rifle. They are a lot of fun to shoot, and um, I just like the fact that they're accurate. It's also nice to have a piece of history in your hand. This particular rifle is quite old. If you happen to run into one of these and it's in good shape, I can tell you it's probably worth every dime you would pay for it. It's just a magnificent little 22 rifle. Anyway, that's it from the Rainbow Range. I'm going to shoot it a little bit more. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy them as much as we enjoy making them. Please like, subscribe. If you subscribe, we'll let you know when new videos are coming your way, and you can check them out too. And please look at the previous ones. We've done over 100 videos in the last year and a half, and there's a whole bunch more coming up, so you can check those out as well. I've also got some links over here for Facebook, Twitter, and our blog, where I write articles periodically about various different gun-related uh, things, and you can check those out. You might find those interesting. And if you like gun videos, and you like guns, and you like shooting, and you're not a member of the National Rifle Association, you need to be. So I'm going to put a link right here and in the description so that you can join the National Rifle Association for less than the cost of one box of ammunition for a year. You can add your valuable voice to ours. If you have looked at the news at all and you don't live in a cave, you know that the Second Amendment is under attack all over the place, and particularly in restrictive states like the one I live in, in California or New Jersey, or, you know, I mean, there's a handful of them, and they seem to be growing. Now they're going after Oregon and Washington and so on and Nevada. So just because you happen to live in a free state doesn't mean this stuff isn't heading your way. I urge you, join the National Rifle Association today. I got you a deal. There's a special where it can save you some money if you click on this link. And again, as I said, if any of these links don't work on the screen because you're on a mobile device, they're all in the description, so you can find them there. Likewise, if you have a gun you might use to defend yourself, whether you're carrying it because you've got a concealed weapons permit, or you live in a constitutional carry state, or you've got the gun at home for self-defense, if you ever use it, you're probably going to have to defend yourself in court because you're going to get sued and you might get arrested and prosecuted. That's just the way our kooky system works. That means you need to have some legal backup in place. So unless you are very, very wealthy and you can defend yourself, you're going to want to have a system and a company behind you. I've investigated a lot of them and the one I came down to uh, using was Second Call Defense. And there's a whole lot of reasons why. I can't get into them. It'd be all video on its own, and I do have a video about that. And you can check out the video as to why I chose Second Call Defense if you like by just clicking on this link or the one in the description. It'll take you to a special spot on our website that will show you that video and explain why I picked that company over all the others. And it will also give you a link to Second Call Defense in case you would like to sign up. So check that out because the last thing you want to do is have to defend yourself and then lose everything you own and have to start all over again. I'm getting old. My wife is too. We can't start all over again. Thank you again very much for watching my videos. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a wonderful week and please be safe.